Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to create a simple scoring system that will automatically color up depending on the score. So what I've got at the top here is the actual grades and the score to achieve that grade. Now these students have got some scores there, but if I just change some of these over, say I go 34 for that guy, he now fails, so he's picking up that one there. If I go 99 for this one, that's a, an A grade. And if I go 67, that's a D grade. And the conditional formatting is colouring up to show you that. So what I'm going to do is just recreate this over on the right here. So if I just copy this little table over here, use my control key to copy that, copy the titles and the students and the scores. I'll do that over there. Oops, undo that one. Didn't use my control key. Copy that over, control key, and the students as well. I'll just copy that over with my control key. So I've got a, a new list here, and then the scores they can be copied as well. Copy control key. All right, so what I've used is just a simple lookup to um, put the correct grade next to these people. So if I type the formula equals lookup. So it's not VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP, it's just LOOKUP. And then it's asking you for a LOOKUP value in the same way as a VLOOKUP or a HLOOKUP or an XLOOKUP would do. But I'm going to delete that for a second because what I want to use, I want to use name ranges so that I don't have to worry about dollar signs. So this is the um, score. I'm just going to name this area score. I would normally name the whole column score if it's going to get bigger than that. But I'll just call that um, score. And then I'm going to name these two, I'll call this one grade. Press enter on that and I'll call this one range. Range, press enter on that. So I'll just double check that's taken that score one. Typo there, look, so I'll type that again. I could go in there and delete that, it's picking that up. I'll have to go and delete that one. I did that on purpose so I could show you how to delete a name that you didn't want. So, score, spelt wrong, delete. Okay. And then all of the other ones are sitting there. Close that one. That's the names of this file. So now I can do the lookup again. So it's going to be equals lookup. It's asking for a value. The value is called score, comma. So the vector, it wants this vector which I've called range so i could have typed range comma and then when it finds that range it's going to look at these grades to give you the answer and if i close the bracket on that click the tick it cascades down because i used a named range now if i change that just to check it works it does work so that's that's the first part so now i want to color these up so it matches these that is conditional formatting, so I'll go home, conditional formatting, manage rule, and then I'm going to add the rule. So new rule, second option down, only format that contains. So this is just simple, it's equal to an A, it's not case sensitive, format green, whichever colour green you like, OK to that, OK to that, it's new rule. Only format cells that contain, again, it's going to be equals to, this time B, B, I'll have that as format amber, amber, OK, OK, and the new rule equals C, if it equals C, this can be also amber, like so, and then I'll go D, which I'll make it not red, but a slightly pinkish colour equals to D, D format, sort of pinkish colour, that one, whatever colour that is, OK, OK, and then to fail, so if it's going to say fail, I want it to go red, so a new rule, second one down at the top, equals to the word fail, you just type fail in there, and again it's not case sensitive, if it's a fail, format red. So those are the colours I want. Click OK to that. OK again. OK again. 
that applies the colours so let's see if he fails so 34 should be a fail and it should go red 23 is a fail he should go red so that's just a very quick video on how to create a scoring system and have it automatically colour up using the lookup function so hopefully that was of use thank you for your time i'll catch you on the next one